two, three, four. Hey there, it is Simon here. I hope you are well. Now this video is brought to you by Moira and Sarah who are patrons at my Patreon channel, which is www.patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. Uh, there you can access my massive chart library and request songs even like this one. So this is Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. We are going to walk through all the parts. We're not going to do the guitar solo just today, but we are going to do the rhythm guitar parts. Um, if you would like the chart, you can get that also at Patreon. But let's kick the lesson straight off. We're going to play a D. Now, the thing we're doing is we're using our right hand most of the time. Just fingers, no pick. So your thumb is gonna always hit the bass string. Your first and second fingers are gonna hit the other strings in this chord, the D, so your thumb, first and second fingers are on the strings, right? Now, lift your first finger out of the D chord and you're gonna do a hammer-on. So you're basically gonna hammer on G to A. And then hit the guitar, right? So you get one, that's on the one, right? So you get this one, and that's on the two. So one, then the next chord is a D with an F sharp bass. So you just put your thumb, I know, my thumb? Yes, your thumb, over the top. Your right hand, your thumb is gonna go now on the sixth string. See what I mean? So you get this D, hit, thumb over the F sharp, hit, and then we're gonna get a G. You're gonna hit the same string, so your thumb on the six, four, three, two, okay? and then an A. Okay, now whether you play A like that, or A like that, doesn't really matter, up to you. If you do play A like that, you've got to still make sure that that one is free and not, because that's an A6 and it's not what we're looking for today. Maybe when we do, I don't know, Beatles tunes, A6 will come in handy. All right, so we've got D. F sharp bass, G major, A. Now, in the first eight bars, at the end of that little, he does a little hammer-on from A to B, and that's four E, so like two semiquavers, right? So you get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four E, and A, right? All right, so that's that section. Then the next bit, this is kind of like second half of the verse, I guess, he plays D. G, A. Just those chords without the sort of hammery bits. So D, F sharp bass, G, A. Right. And then we are going to play the pre chorus. Now, the pre chorus has got uh, some equally straightforward chords. I guess it's all about the, the two and though. So you get E minor. One and two and three and four. Now, so you've got two E minors. One and two and three and then G6, which is just like a G, except without those two guys on the top, right? Right? So you go one and two and three and four and, okay? Now, I was just strumming there, but I was using the front of my, front of my fingers, nails, yeah? You could still, can you, you still do that kind of thing? Up to you. So we've got one and two and three and four and, and then we can hit an A7, which is like an A major with a hole in the middle. The seven is a dominant seven, which is basically the G. If you're interested in that sort of stuff, I'll link a little video here to a couple of music theory videos that I have. Now, so A7. And then D, major. So that count there is one and two and three and four and, right? Always on the and here. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and, okay? Now, after we've hit the D 
on the two and, so two and three and four. Okay, just hit a four. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and just a regular A at the end of that time. So the first time around we had E, G6, A7, D. The second time around he had E minor, G6, A. Okay, then the third time we've got E minor, two and three and G6, A7. Now instead of D this time, we're gonna play a B minor. Now we can play a B minor, first finger, second finger, third and fourth fingers here. So four, four, three, two. Now I think he plays a regular B minor, like a B cup B minor bar chord, but if you haven't done bar chords, that is totally fine. Ed won't come around to your house and be angry. I'm sure he would love the fact that you're playing his tune. Now, uh, so we've got E minor, two, and four, A7, D, B minor. Right, last bit, E minor, G, and then he does a crescendo, an A. So you've got one and two and three and da da da, right? So that is all quavers, one and two and three and four and. Then from there, we're gonna go into the chorus, which is the same as the sort of B part of the verse. Four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and all right and then we have and we found love by where we are so B minor a major, G major, D with an F sharp bass, E minor seven, E minor seven, first finger here on B, second fret of the A string, and a D there, and then uh, A D. On the chart I've got D written with an A bass. It sounds a bit more muscular. So we've got B minor, A major, G major, D with F sharp, E minor seven, Whew, ran out of breath. A, D, yeah, so we found love around And then it goes back into four and. Okay, so that very first time we're doing that A part of the verse, the B part of the verse, the pre-chorus with the E minor, G6, A7, then we're playing the chorus, which is just like the B part of the verse. Then we're playing that bit called the rundown. B minor, A, G, D over F sharp, E minor seven, A, D over A. Then we loop all the way around the chart and we do exactly the same thing again. Now, when we get to the third verse, third verse, there's actually a guitar solo and he's doing like a, you know, kind of, you know, which I haven't really worked out. Maybe another time. And um, then it plays that, and then it goes directly to the coda. Okay, so on the chart, we'll have uh, DS al coda. You play the, go to the sign, you run that first part of the verse, then you go to the coda, which is just chorus, basically. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All that stuff. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Right, and then it plays the rundown three times in a row. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. By the way, if you uh, if you are here on YouTube, please do subscribe, click the bell. Um, and you get a new lesson every single week. So, B minor, A, G, D, O, F sharp, E minor, uh, A, D, come on, sign. B minor, A, G, D, 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 Last time. Bow, 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 bow. And 
and that is how you play Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please do subscribe and click the like button. And if you're able to support the channel from three US dollars a month, you can do that at www.patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. See you next time. Thanks very much.